Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for your weekly reading. This is for the week of October 31st to November 6th, 2016. And this week we are using the Psychic Tarot. I haven't used this deck in forever, so I'm looking forward to pulling it out and drawing the cards for us this week. So let's get started. So the three cards that came up for us this week are the Eight of Wands. It's called Accelerated Motion in this deck. The Six of Cups, which is called Memories of Love. And finally, Major Arcana 17. It's called Hope in this deck. This would be the star in the traditional Rider Waite tarot. So one thing I have to uh, tell you guys about this deck is that reversals are not meant to be read in this deck. Um, I hadn't used it in a really long time, so I pulled out the book to uh, just double check it. And sure enough, um, he says that reversals are not meant to be used. You are just meant to kind of pay extra attention to the cards if they did come up reversed. So two of them did come up reversed for us, and they were the Six of Cups, Memories of Love, and Major Arcana 17, Hope. So we're just supposed to give those two a little bit more emphasis um, the way this deck is supposed to be read. So keeping that in mind, let's go forward and uh, here we go with our reading. So our first card is the Eight of Wands Accelerated Motion. And the feeling I got from this card instantly when I looked at it is that there's some kind of destiny or fate going on in our lives this week. The Eight of Wands is all about as it says here, accelerated motion, about things moving quickly, things happening very fast, uh, messages coming in. So there could be something that has been fated for us to happen for a long time that seems to have taken forever to happen, but now it is happening, and it's happening at a really increased rate. Things are happening very quickly. The way the woman in this card is looking up at the sky and this comet that is flying through the air and all the other stars around it that are sparkling. It just has a really mystical kind of um, ethereal quality to it. So that's why I'm getting the sense that something is going to be happening quickly for us this week, and it's something that we may have been waiting for for a very long time. Maybe you've been waiting to hear a message from somebody for a very long time, and it's going to happen this week. You are going to hear news. Something is going to come to your attention Things are going to be happening quickly. Maybe you've been working on something for a very long time, whether it's a project, a relationship, anything. You've been putting in a lot of work and effort, and it seems to have gone really sluggishly. All of a sudden, the pace is going to pick up, and things are going to happen at light speed this week. Our second card is the Six of Cups, Memories of Love. And this... This is really beautiful here. What this is telling me is that whatever is going to be happening quickly has to do with someone from our past. Somebody from our past may be coming back in this week. Somebody we haven't spoken to in a very long time. Somebody that we love very dearly. I love the way that the hands on this card are cupping this candle and the other candles around it are flickering and this person is holding this candle very gently and very uh, protectively. It's like there is some kind of love you've had for somebody that you've been holding close to, that you've been nurturing, and maybe you've been missing someone. The Six of Cups is uh, very often a card of nostalgia about the past, about um, a former time in our life when we were very happy or that we that was especially sentimental to us okay something that we have never forgotten that we've always kind of held close to us and it holds a special place in our heart this is telling me that whatever this is that is happening quickly this week has to do with someone from our past somebody from our past may be coming back in you may hear from somebody you haven't spoken to in a very long time and it is going to feel just so so amazing Another thing I want to say about this card is notice how that there are ripples that are coming out um, that are expanding from those other candles that are in front of the hands. It's like this is going to have reverberations. This is going to have effects on everything <laughs> and on, maybe on many other people. It's like this is big. This is a big thing. This is the kind of thing that has a ripple effect that um, affects many other things. Our final card is Major Arcana 17, Hope, which is also the star card. So, guys, what this is telling me is that for some of us, this isn't going to happen for everyone, 
but some of us are going to be just so, so happy this week because what I see here is like a major healing, major reconciliation of a past relationship. Maybe you've been waiting for this for a very long time. Maybe this has to do with a former lover. Maybe this has to do with a former friend or family member that maybe you had a falling out with in the past and your relationship did not end on the greatest note, but you had a great deal of love for this person and you've never forgotten them and you've never stopped wanting to get back in touch with them. And for some of us, I see this happening this week. I see amazing, amazing healing love energy here. This is like mind blowing, actually. Again, we see this big, huge sun that is being, you know, held in these hands and all the rays are coming out and going everywhere. It's like the sunlight is falling on everything and touching everything and healing everything. So what I'm seeing here is that for some of us, this could be a very specific reading. Some of us are going to reconcile or just get back in touch with somebody that we haven't spoken to in a very long time. Somebody who had played a very important part in our lives, who is dear to us. We're going to get back in touch with that person and we are going to just feel so, so happy because of this. So guys, this, like I said, this reading seems to be really, really specific. For those of you who may have been hoping or waiting to get back in touch with somebody from your past, that's going to happen this week. That's going to happen for some of us. If um, you broke up with somebody and there were a lot of hard feelings uh, because you cared very much about this person and for whatever reason, something happened that split you up, that... Um, that separated you, okay, that is going to come back together this week, okay, and that, that could be any kind of relationship, like I said, it could be a love relationship, it could be a former friend, could be a family member, maybe you had a falling out with, that's going to be healed. Remember, the two cards that came up in the reverse were the Six of Cups, Memories of Love, and that Hope card, okay, the star. Those are the two cards that are emphasized for us this week, okay, the cards that are especially powerful. So it's saying past love and healing, okay? Now, if this doesn't relate to a person, this could simply be um, maybe the way you felt in a former part of your life where you were much happier, where you were doing what you wanted to do and maybe feeling a lot lighter and a lot more carefree and just feeling like your life was going the way you wanted it to. That could also be coming back in. That sense, that state of feeling like you were just completely content where you were in your life, okay? And maybe lately it hasn't felt that way. Maybe things have been really stressful and really worrisome and um, you haven't felt the way that you used to. That could also be what this reading is relating to, that that former sense of happiness and contentment and just being completely happy is coming back in. It's You're being healed. There is definitely healing going on for us this week, you guys. And it's going to happen quickly. It's going to happen probably a lot faster than you think. Um, you could be getting a message from somebody that you, that you loved. You know, whoever that is. You're going to get a message unexpectedly. Or you get a message and then things happen very quickly. All of a sudden you're making arrangements to meet and see each other again and maybe have dinner together or, or whatever, whatever you choose to do. This is beautiful energy this week. This is all about love and healing and just destiny. I think, I think there's a great amount of destiny here because of that eight of wands accelerated motion card that the way that's that starry sky looks to me it's like this is this has been meant to happen. This has been coming for a long time. So for those of you that it does happen for this week, enjoy it to the fullest. Enjoy it to its extent. Just have just enjoy the love, bask in it, and enjoy that person or thing or whatever it is that is coming back into your life and that is making you feel just whole again. Guys, this is beautiful. Enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you again next week. Enjoy the love. Bye for now.